Hey guys, welcome back to um, the channel. So today we're gonna have a quick look at this. This is the Pub BG um, 4x4 American pickup. Um, supposedly it's from the game Battleground. I'm not a gamer. <clears throat> Excuse me, I know nothing about it. Um, it's a 12 scale truck. And like I say, it's from the game. And, and supposedly from what I've seen, I've looked up a couple of clips and it actually looks pretty bloody close. So overall, the truck actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's it's a really, really, really budget little truck. 98 pound, which is probably what, $150, I guess, um, delivered. So really, really cheap. It's got little light buckets ready to put LEDs and all along the top. And it's it's a cool little truck actually. Um, the wheels and tires are crap, <laughs> as you can expect. You know, it's 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 probably a little bit more than toy grade. It's it's hobby grade, but only just. Um, tires are really really hard and and feel really plasticky. But that's not what I bought this for. Um, the body's going, the wheels are going. I want it for what is underneath, which is primarily a 242 millimeter um, C channel chassis. And we'll whoop the body off and have a look at what we get underneath. Right, so here we go, guys. Body off. Um, not a bad little chassis, to be honest. All metal. Um, C rail chassis, it's got what I seem, seems to be oil fill shocks, they're adjustable, so you can set up all the preload and what have you. They're not bad to be honest. I mean, like I said, it, it it's bordering on sort of toy grade, but for 98 pounds, <laughs> who can complain with that? So, looking at this, we've got a 1040 Hobby Wing ESC. Um, it's got the little pins for running uh, lipo, NIMS. You've also got crawler mode and um, the other mode which has brake as well. Comes with a little 850 milliamp um, Lion battery fitted with Dean's connector. Comes with full size um, servo. To be honest, the servo is actually quite powerful for this little truck. I don't know what it what it's putting out. But it's it's not bad. It certainly does the job. I'll turn it on in a bit. And you can see what the movement is like. But to be honest, it's okay. It's got little sliders for the body. Um, let's have a look at it on the other side. Four link up front, four link in the rear. No pan hard mount, obviously, because of it being four link. And yeah, I mean, it, it feels okay. Little plastic drive shafts, but they've got metal ends. So that doesn't look too bad. So yeah, um, it doesn't look too bad. However, I have noticed this morning, I gave it a quick little run. The diffs are not locked. So you can, you know, I'll figure out a way of locking the diffs. I'll probably just jam it full of hot glue or something. It seemed to be very, very accessible. There's only, you know, four little screws over here. So I can pop open that, take the diff cover off, and I'll just jam it full of hot glue. And that'll probably do the job. Um, oh, motor-wise, little 380 motor. And actually, this thing is actually quite quick. It's not by any means a crawler. It's a little mm, scalish trail truck, um, but it is pretty fast. It's geared pretty quick. Um, so I'll throttle it back and what have you. But yeah, to be honest, I mean, three channel receiver for 98 pound what can you ask for you know it's certainly certainly you know budget's quite a fair bit of articulation and, but i'm changing this i bought it for the chassis wheels are coming off it that's coming off it the body's going and i am actually putting a um tamiya um yj jeep hard body onto this that i've got coming at the moment from germany so when that gets here, I'll paint it all up. I'll probably do a little video on that. And um, that will go onto this because it's the perfect wheelbase for it. 
But anyway, we'll get this out on um, one of the little trails now and uh, see how it does. I don't expect mega performance out of it, obviously, because like I said, it's it's unlocked. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to do so well, but we'll see what it's like on the trail. And it's, yeah, pretty decent. So we'll skip to that and see how we go. Yeah, so here's the um, servo. As you can see, it's actually quite quick. Uh, modulation on it is quite difficult. It just really wants to go. <laughs> it's quite quick. So I might just open the box and um, see what the pinion setup is on it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to slow it down, but, you know, it, it'll do. It'll do for what it is. Like I said, it's only 98 quid. So, <clears throat> yeah, servo-wise, you know, as you can see, it's actually pretty quick and it certainly seems like it's got enough power. So yeah, happy with that. <laughs> Who can ask for more? Oh